Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can configure our Copilot event shipper. And this is an important connector because this is going to allow us to consolidate data from various sources like Huntress, Mimecast, uh, Duo, and other third-party integrations that we're gonna be introducing into Copilot. So essentially, we want our Seam stack to be able to ingest not only data from our endpoints and network devices, but also our third-party services such as uh, Mimecast, Duo, Sentinel One, Sophos, whatever third-party services that, whose logs we would like to ingest into the Steam Stack, the Copilot event shipper is going to be the one that is actually getting that data and shipping that data over to Greylog. So what we're going to do is set up a Gelf input within Greylog that is going to receive data from our Copilot application. And so what we're going to do is go into our Greylog instance, go into inputs, and we're going to configure a Gelf TCP input. And we're going to go ahead and sel uh, select launch new input. Uh, I can just check this global pool because I only have one uh, Greylog node. So that'll start on all nodes, although I don't have a Greylog cluster. This is just a single node, but I can still check that and uh, that'll be fine. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a title. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Copilot Log Shipper. You can call it whatever you want, um, but I'm just gonna use that naming convention. And then going to assign it a unique port. So this needs to be a port that Greylog is not currently already listening on. Um, majority of you guys could probably just leave it at the default port of 12,201. However, I do have something already listening on that port, so I'm gonna bump it up to 12,202. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and select launch input. And here we see that our new Copilot log shipper, which is of type Gelf TCP, is now running. Uh, and of course, we haven't received any data for it yet. But now we need, let's go ahead and configure Copilot to be able to connect to this input within Greylog. So if I select my connectors tab, here we are treating this as just a separate connector within Copilot. If I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the event shipper. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and select update. And here I'm going to input the, either the host name or the IP address of my Greylog instance. So I'm just gonna copy what I have in my browser uh, and release uh, and remove the HTTP or HTTPS, whatever you're using. Um, and here I'm just gonna point it directly to the host name or you can also use the IP address as well. And I'm gonna input my port, which was 12.202, which was 12.202. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and uh, Copilot is going to attempt to verify with our Gelf input. And it looks like Copilot has verified that. So if I go back into Greylog, we do see that we have received some data. Now, what we also need to do is create a JSON extractor for this data. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is select the message field here. I'm gonna select create extractor. I'm gonna select the JSON as the extractor type. Go ahead and hit submit. My key value separator, I'm gonna change this to a colon. Now, if I hit try, we see that the message is getting broken up into into the individual key value pairs, which is what we want. And I'll just give it a title of JSON extractor. That title can be whatever you want. Go ahead and hit save. And now if I go ahead and test this again, um, I'll just hit update and then save, which should send another message to Greylog. And if I load the latest message um, that should have come in, here we see our message. And now we see that it is broken up into individual fields, which is how all of our integrations are gonna work. And this will be more obvious uh, as future videos come out with these integrations. It's as uh, easy as that. So we are gonna leverage uh, this specific connector to, as I mentioned, we'll have modules coming out for Duo, Huntress, Mimecast, Sentinel One, Sophos. Um, and I plan to just keep on building this catalog. So be on the lookout for, for new integrations being added to the catalog. If there's any that you guys would like added, then feel free to reach out to us and we can see what we can do. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Uh, short and sweet, but just wanted to, to walk you guys through getting the event shipper uh, set up within Copilot, which we are going to be leveraging pretty heavily in the future. So I appreciate you guys' time and I will see you in the next one.